Ice hockey and curling may be among the hottest tickets of these 2010 games, but for Olympic fans, keeping tabs on the latest in social media can be a game unto itself. You were both just using them. What are you using your iPhones for during the Olympics? Uh, documenting the experience, I think. Yeah. I was trying to look for a restaurant. <laughs> are you updating things with your phones? Do you have a Blackberry? Yeah, you... I tweet. You're tweeting. <laughs> I like it, I like How it. How frequently are you tweeting during the Olympics? Uh, all the time. <laughs> That's a lot more than usual? Yeah. Olympic organizers and sponsors have taken note. Browse Facebook and Twitter and you'll find games-related fan pages and news feeds, some with hundreds of thousands of followers. Have you signed up for any of the uh, the Facebook groups, like uh, Vancouver 2010 or any of the venues? Yeah, the fan pages, yeah. What fan pages have you signed up um, for? Vancouver 2010 Olympics, and then I also, the guy who won the mobile race too. What do you get off those pages? I don't know. I just feel part of society. <laughs> and with more and more people owning iPhones, organizers have taken note. The number one free downloaded app in Canada? The Vancouver 2010 iPhone app. But it's not just the masses who've caught the technology bug. Athletes too are using web apps to call home and keep in touch. When I'm here I'm talking to my family with, via Skype so it's okay. Because now here I'm walking in through the day and at home it's during the night. So everybody in Bulgaria now is sleeping. <laughs> Yesterday I secured an interview with the head of social media for the IOC. I was going to ask him about the IOC's use of Facebook and Twitter and how its approach to social media had changed since the last Olympics. Unfortunately, once he discovered that Hum News had filmed in Olympic pavilions and interviewed athletes, he chose to cancel the interview. However, he did leave me with one keepsake of my time at the IOC headquarters. This, I'm a fan of the Olympic Games pin. Reporting for Hum News, this is Stephen Evans.